Painless bleeding can happen at any time during pregnancy. Placenta previa can cause bleeding late in pregnancy. When the placenta is attached close to the opening of the uterus, cervix, or covers the cervix, it is called placenta previa. There are three main types of placenta previa. 1. Marginal placenta previa. The placenta is positioned at the edge of your cervix. It's touching your cervix, but not covering it. This type of placenta previa is more likely to resolve on its own before your baby's due date. Not also that, we might also encounter lateral placenta previa, in which the placenta is inserted in the lower segment, but more than 2 cm from the internal cervical os. 2. Partial placenta previa. The placenta partially covers your cervix. 3. Complete or total placenta previa. The placenta is completely covering your cervix, blocking your vagina. This type of placenta previa is less likely to correct itself. Placenta previa, studying detaily is classically divided into four grades, depending on the relationship and distance to the internal cervical os. 1. Grade 1. Low-lying placenta. Placenta lies in the lower uterine segment, but its lower edge does not abut the internal cervical os. Lower edge 0.5 to 2.0 cm from internal os. 2. Grade 2. Marginal previa. Placental tissue reaches the margin of the internal cervical os, but does not cover it. Sometimes grades 1 and 2 are termed a minor or partial placenta previa, and grades 3 and 4 are termed a major placenta previa. 3. Grade 3. Partial previa. Placenta partially covers the internal cervical os. 4. Grade 4. Complete previa. Placenta completely covers the internal cervical os. Researchers don't know what causes placenta previa. It is more likely to happen with certain conditions as these, past pregnancies. Tumors, fibroids, in the uterus. These are not cancer. Past uterine surgeries or cesarean deliveries. Woman who is older than 35. Woman who is African American or of another non-white ethnic background. Cigarette smoking. Placenta previa in a past pregnancy. Being pregnant with a boy. The most common symptom of placenta previa is bright red, painless bleeding from the vagina. This is most common in the third trimester of pregnancy. Sometimes, spotting happens before an event with more blood loss. The placenta may be visualized as early as 6 weeks by transvaginal sonography and 10 weeks transabdominally. It first appears as a focally thickened hyperechogenic rim of tissue around the gestational sac that is clearly separate from the myometrium. It is quite distinct and easily identifiable at 14 to 15 weeks, and the intervillous blood flow may be documented using color Doppler. The relationship between the placental edge and the internal cervical os changes with advancing gestation. As such, it is very important not to label the patient as having a placenta previa prior to 16 weeks. The placenta migrates away from the internal os as the lower uterine segment develops, and a rate of migration of 5.4 mm per week has been reported. Furthermore over 98.4% of suspected low-lying placenta previas in the second trimester resolve prior to delivery, at a mean gestational age of 26 weeks, with only 1.6% persisting at term. Ultrasound plays a critical role in placental localization, whether at the point of care setting or during screening examinations. A simple sonographic technique for placental localization has been described as part of a standardized six-step approach for performance of the focused basic obstetric ultrasound examination. This technique is described with the transducer held in a sagittal orientation, just above the uterine fundus, and moved to the lower abdomen in three sweeps, maternal right, left and center. Subsequently, the position of the lower placental edge with respect to the cervix is assessed. If it is less than 2 cm or the placenta is felt to cover the cervix, then confirmation by transvaginal scan is indicated. In case of persistence of a placenta previa into the third trimester, it is critical to assess for possible presence of placenta accreta spectrum.
presence of placental acune, loss of the clear retroplacental echolucent space, presence of hypervascularity and bridging vessels, thinning of the myometrium, thinning of the retroplacental myometrial wall, and the placental bladder interphase, and a bulging placenta into the posterior bladder wall, are all concerning findings for a placental accreta spectrum. During the routine 18 to 21 week morphology scan, the distance between the lower edge of the placenta and the internal os should be measured. If it lies within a few centimeters of the cervical os, then a repeat ultrasound at 32 weeks should be performed to ensure that the edge has migrated further away. There is no treatment to change the position of the placenta. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Please subscribe.